Hello and welcome to everyone watching. Today my throat is no longer being sadistically violated by a foreign agent, so I can now talk at a normal volume and not have the Audacity compressor cut out my voice every 30 seconds. Today we're taking a look at SCP Dollhouse, yet another SCP short film from the mans, the myths, the ones, the only, the legends, the homies, Evan Royalty, and Stephen Hancock. The film follows an MTF squad as they investigate a house in suburbia. Needless to say, they find some pretty weird shit, so let's get into it. Dollhouse might not be as technically impressive as their latest collaboration, Overlord, but it's still a well-made, interesting look at yet another original SCP. So let's get started. The film opens with an unnamed MTF chatting it up in a transport truck before they arrive at the target building. I'm not sure why they don't name the MTF, but given the suburban environment, I'm going to assume that it's a detachment of Epsilon 6, or the same MTF that Kalinsky's team from Overlord was a part of. As they prepare to breach the house, they find a sticky note on the door with the words Camel Skin written on it. Hmm. Nice. They breach and sweep the house to find it completely empty. However, there is a small office with a laptop in the basement. They radio in and start searching the house for any information. Apparently this house belongs to a psychiatrist who may have been working with the Foundation at some point, or at least has done something noteworthy enough to be on the Foundation's radar. As the team searches the house, one member checks the laptop to find a program called Java looping a strange script. And if you look at the file explorer on the screen, you can see that there is a file for each room in the house. Gee whiz, I bet that won't come up later. Anyway, the team finds documentation for a woman who supposedly was in a relationship with the aforementioned shrink. Apparently this document shows that this individual was admitted to a mental facility for a year at some point, and not even the CIA knew about it. One of the MTF members, O'Neill, remarks that if the CIA didn't even know about this, what else don't they know? His teammate basically tells him to shut the fuck up and go suck a donkey dick as we check in with the rest of the team upstairs. They notice that all of the furniture in the living room that was there when they entered the building is now gone. Damn bro, that's pretty spooky, but not quite as spooky as the creepy bitch in the background quip walking past the homies. They move to apprehend her, but only find an empty room. They do, however, find a door that leads to a completely different area of the house. Clearly, whatever the anomaly is, it's able to extend the interior of an area without altering the exterior. Kind of like SCP-184 minus the Australia made entirely out of maple syrup. I know that sounds like a joke. It's not. The MTF pretty much immediately decides that this shit is way above their pay grade and they'd rather be somewhere else, so they decide to exfil. Meanwhile, back in the basement, the computer guy unlocks the admin folder on the PC by using camel skin as the password. Inside the admin folder, there is a contingency file that once clicked displays the word Cardoon. This seems to trigger something in the house. Back upstairs, the team finds a TV filled with static playing a message that basically I interpret as I am coming for that ass, bitch. After this, the team encounters a glitch from Cyberpunk as it swings at one of the boys with a knife, but it ultimately backs off after they shoot at it. Then a small screen starts to display a strange code that apparently translates to I am Prometheus. Not sure what the fuck that means, but I'm pretty sure it was a cognito hazard because once a team member reads it, he becomes quite fucked up with the rest of the team suspecting that, yeah, he's probably dead. As they keep moving, the team encounter one lanky-ass motherfucker having a strangely casual conversation on the house phone, before instantly disappearing. They link back up with the guys in the basement, and Fletcher, the computer guy from earlier, pretty much tells us what the SCP is. He theorizes that the laptop itself is the anomaly, and that it's altering reality in the house and possibly even the neighborhood. The team decides to let Fletcher copy important files onto a secure drive while the rest of the team exfils. Another team member volunteers to stay behind and watch Fletcher's back while he's copying the files. As the team exfils, the member that stayed behind with Fletcher is seemingly deleted out of existence, as the creepy bitch from earlier starts to glitch her way down the stairs. Before she can reach him, Fletcher hits the power button. The screen goes black and the credits roll. Okay, so the anomaly in SCP Dollhouse is a sentient, reality-altering laptop, that much is for sure. As for the two other entities inside of the house, I'm assuming it's the shrink and the woman he was living with. The shrink could have possibly brought the laptop home with him one day, not being aware of what it really was, and resulted in him and his significant other being turned into monstrous glitches, uh, now cursed to roam the house for all of eternity. And as for the ending, when Fletcher hits the power button, I think he basically turned off the house, possibly even erasing it from reality. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Dollhouse isn't really that complicated, but it is a great little SCP side story, backed up by some slick cinematography, a killer sound design, and a great concept. If you guys want to watch Dollhouse for yourself, there will be a link in the description below, as well as a link to Evan Royalty's channel, so you can check out all of his other SCP-related content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this one, especially since I could actually fucking talk. And I can't wait to take a look at some more SCP-related content, and rest assured, I will be doing just that. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you left a like down below. Thank you all for watching once again, and I will see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day.